Hello there, fight friends. MMA Andy Cotterell here with Tyler Wilson, who will be fighting at BFL 79 this Thursday against Ali Wasak for the BFL Bantamweight Championship. Tyler, how are you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing? Doing awesome. It's really nice to speak with you. I always get excited when fighters, oftentimes these days, there's like the regional scene and a lot of fighters stick on the regional scene the whole time. So you've been a type of fighter. You've taken fights away, you know, more than once, more than a few times. So it's, is there a big difference for you in fighting and say somewhere in your backyard, somewhere in the uh, Ontario area or going to BC or somewhere down to the States, like, like Maryland? Um, no, not really. I would say the only one that kind of got to me a bit was when I was in Kingston, just cause yeah, I was there for a long time. And uh, that one got to me a little bit, but next to that doesn't really make a difference. Like the BTC Kingston? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean you were there for a long time? I lived in Kingston for 10 years from when I was 18. Oh, okay, okay, years. okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was a real, I was at that fight. You did awesome. That was a good win. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, tell me what you know about Ali Wazak, your opponent at BFL 79. Yeah, I mean, he's good. He's tough. Uh, he's good. Good grappler, striking's coming along. He's tenacious. He's aggressive. Yeah, he's um, he's a gamer. Um, what do you think of BFL as an organization? Yeah, they're good. They're good. Um, they got they got good uh, they got good promo and stuff like that. Looks oh, nice. it's like their that, social media yeah. presence fantastic. That's for sure. Yeah. Do you have you ever thought about, or has anybody ever tried to give you a nickname as a fighter? Yeah, nothing's really stuck. I've got a bunch of like silly ones, but yeah, nothing, nothing that's stuck. Okay, what's your? Do you have one that was your favorite, or one you dislike the most? No, I'm good. <laughs> they're like, it's hard to choose. I'm good. Yeah, they're all. Well, I kind of have an idea for one, and it's, I, I don't know what you think, but Eamon Zahabi says in his phone, he has you under as a, as Tyler TriStar. So just Tyler TriStar. It's simple. It's communicative. And it explains who you are and what you are and where you're from all in one. So I think we should go with that. Yeah, it's not bad. I feel like, <laughs> I don't know, because there's a lot of people that could use that name. Like, I'm not the only Tyler, you know? There's a lot of guys at TriStar as well. There's like at least four or five Tylers at TriStar. Yeah, like but you could be the team. first if you claim that name. You can fight them for it. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> uh, some of them, I think, are getting up to welterweight, though. Okay. Tell, so at this point of the game, I, I would say, say, say that you're a veteran. You've been fighting for a long time. You've got a wealth of experience. Just talk a little bit for the people who might be meeting you for the first time right now. Just say who you are and, and where you live, where you're from, and, uh, and how you got into fighting. So, yeah, Tyler Wilson, I am from, originally I'm from Aurora, Ontario. I was, I lived there until I was about 18. Then I moved to Kingston for about 10 years, currently live in Montreal uh, for the past, so since 2018, so past like five years. Um, I got into fighting, just, uh, I kind of always was around it when I was younger. Uh, I started jujitsu when I was in like grade nine. I did a little bit of boxing before that. It was just like, it was always, I was always doing a part of it, but I never, realized that MMA itself was something I, that I could actually do until I got to Kingston and then I met like actual MMA fighters and realized mm -hmm. that it was a real goal. Yeah. What do you Just love the, the martial arts? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. What do you, what do you love the most about fighting? Uh, it's about proving, proving to yourself that you can do something. It's about, uh, yeah, it's about just ignoring all the little battles in your head and, making yourself uh, in peak physical shape and mental shape to accomplish something that's, yeah, not easy. The first person who ever, well, the first MMA fighter really that came to the forefront talking about the mental component of the game was uh, TriStar's George St. Pierre. After he lost to Matt Sarah, he famously went to a sports psychologist named Brian Kane, and he had to carry around a brick in a bag for a while to represent that, that brick, that weight of the brick was the, was the weight of the loss to Matt Sarah. And when George was ready, he took that brick. And I think if I remember correctly, he threw it into a river. So I, I find it's more, more it was, well, yeah, it's a pretty cool story. And it's more normalized these days that fighters actually talk about that kind of thing. So 
you know, everyone's, well, I'm not going to say everybody, but a lot of people are familiar with MMA training for your body. You know, you're doing your, your, your technique classes, you're doing your, your repetitions, you're doing whatever you need to make your body strong. What do you do to make your mind strong in the fight game? It's a lot of uh, meditating, I would say. And I've been doing more journaling, like really just like, like putting down onto paper what I'm trying to do, how I'm trying to get there. And not just like letting everything be kind of a cluster in my head and just really like having a set plan. So like if you, when you journal, you're like or something or whatever, like I can put that down and be like, okay, what, like, why do I fear this? And then I can kind of uh, elaborate a little bit more when you write it down versus just continuously thinking about something with no actual plan. Yeah. That makes total sense to me. And when you write it down, you can physically look at it with your eyes. You can see it as often as you want to see and just kind of remember yeah. that you've got a plan. So what's your plan with Ali uh, at BFL on Thursday? I think the uh, easiest, oh my God, easiest path to victory for me is probably in the striking. Uh, I think I'm probably probably better everywhere. Like I could have grapple him too if I want to, but I just think he's better as a grappler than he is as a striker. So probably mm -hmm. sprawl and brawl in general. That's a great word, or a great phrase, sprawl and brawl. Who's going to be coming to Vancouver with you? There's a lot of us. It's so in my corner. It's going to be Louis Sanadakis. It's going to be I think Alex Martinez and then um, uh, Levy Levy. Yep. He's mm -hmm. um, I don't train with him that much, but I think he's just coming with Max, so he's going to be in the corner as well. Yep. Yeah, I spoke with Maxime Susi, and those are the exact names that he said too. So that's kind of cool that you can have that mutual support and be there for for each other. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Okay, Tyler, I don't have any more questions. Uh, is there anything that you think I should have asked you? Anything you'd want the people watching this to know about you? Uh, no, I'm all good. Uh, just, you know, thanks to the gym, try to serve friends, family, all that. Okay, awesome, Tyler. Well, it was great to speak with you. I know you're probably, I'm guessing you're traveling tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. Well, safe travels. I hope you get there safe and sound, and I hope everything runs smoothly and you have a, a great fight with Ali. Good luck, and we will talk to you next time. Thanks.